Today's recommended gun is the HMR9. The secondary isn't a recommended gun, but it's a good gun to rock. If you're looking for a good class setup, you came to the right place. Stay tuned till the end of the video where I show you how good these guns are. For the muzzle, we're gonna run the XRK Sandstorm. It helps with gun kick control, vertical recoil, and horizontal recoil. Well, the downsides are aim down sight speed and aiming idle sway. For the optic, we're gonna run the MK3 Reflector. It helps with giving you a niche of accuracy. There are no downsides to this attachment. For the rear grip, we're gonna run the PCS90 Assault Grip. It helps with gun kick control, fire aim stability, and recoil control. Well, the downsides are aiming idle sway and aim down sight speed. For the magazine, we're gonna run the 50 round drum. It helps with ammo capacity. Well, the downsides are movement speed, aim down sight speed, reload quickness, and sprint to fire speed. For the underbarrel, we're gonna run the XRK Edge BW4 hands top. It helps with aim walking speed, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. Well, the downsides are aim walking steadiness and hip fire and tack stance spread. For the secondary, we're gonna run the F-Tac Siege. For the optic, we're gonna run the Cronin Mini Pro. It helps with giving you a niche of accuracy. There are no downsides to this attachment. For the stock, we're gonna run the Heist LW. It helps with tack stance, aiming idle sway, recoil control, and gun kick control. Well, the downsides are aim down sight speed and many more. For the rear grip, we're gonna run the Sur 160. It helps with sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Well, the downsides are recoil control and gun kick control. For the magazine, we're gonna run the 72 round drum. It helps with ammo capacity. Well, the downsides are movement speed, aim down sight speed, reload quickness and sprint to fire speed. For the underbarrel, we're gonna run the Rebel HX. It helps with aim walking speed, tack stance spread, recoil control and gun kick control. Well, the downsides are movement speed and aim down sight speed. The rest is really your own preference. I like to run tear gas and frag grenades, heartbeat sensor, covert sneakers and ghost TV camo. I also like to run ninja's vest. It helps with eliminating footstep sounds and being immune to movement reduction effects. I really hope you enjoyed what you've seen here today. If you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. If you don't mind, it would really help me if you would smash that like button and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy.